Hello, my name is Leah. Welcome back to my channel. Today, some exciting things may be happening, or possibly tomorrow. You'll have to keep watching to find out. But I am almost done with my revision of Project Shadows. So Project Shadows is 39 chapters. I'm finished with the first 37. Y'all, yesterday I flew through chapters 33 through 37. Never in my life have I ever done that much work on a book in one day. I knew that I would be finishing this week or possibly like on Monday of next week. Today's Wednesday, by the way, for context. But I was not, absolutely not expecting to be there like right now. I actually had a vlog planned where I was going to be experimenting with different like sprint length times to see what the best like writing sprint time is for me. And I just simply ran out of work to do in order to complete that. So we'll be doing that for a different project apparently. But I wanted to start this vlog because I wanted to document the finishing of draft one of Project Shadows. I'm calling it draft one again because my process is I zero draft and then I revise into a draft one. So this in my brain is the first full completed draft. In the zero draft, there's a lot of those like bracketed notes, scenes that I kind of just outlined. I didn't quite finish everything, but this one's like a full completed draft. But yeah, that's what we're gonna get to work on today. My last two chapters, I have not really written yet. So what I need to do is kind of draft them and then go over them once more before I like finalize that they're in this draft. We've passed the final battle. So we're kind of in the aftermath section. These last two chapters are very much kind of dealing with the fallout from the final battle. And I say final battle as in the story beat. I guess climax would be the better descriptor, although there was some fighting involved. Things are settling down a little bit. We're getting some more like character -y dialogue stuff, which I love writing dialogue and we'll see how it goes. I'm unsure if I'm going to finish it today. I might be finishing tomorrow, but either way, as soon as I finish, I'm placing an order to have this printed out in like spiral bound at Staples because I printed out my zero draft of Project Fire, the very, very, very first like iteration of that, like in 2018. And it was so satisfying to like hold that in my hands, but also not super helpful to have because a zero draft is so, so messy that, you know, I don't think that it would have been helpful for me to have a physical copy of any zero draft that I have ever written. But now I definitely want a physical copy because it's just gonna be able to help me revise better in the future and be able to take better, more detailed notes um, as I go on. But that's a conversation for a different day. For now, let's go get writing. Okay, we've made it to the end of chapter 28. There's like one last little paragraph that I need to write to kind of like wrap the whole thing up, but we're getting there. And then in chapter 20, 39, did I say 28? I meant 38. And then in chapter 39, I've written like 868 words so far. So there's definitely more that I need to do for that, but the base is already there. So it's just a matter of kind of like connecting those dots in the draft and making it all flow together. It's 2.30 right now. I am sick of sitting at this desk. So I'm going to go move into the living room, get comfy on the recliner. I definitely don't think this is a finished today thing. I will be finishing chapter 38 and then I think I'll get some more good progress into 39. If that's the case, it's definitely at least a finish tomorrow thing, which is so exciting. I think also if I finish in the morning, if I order it like by a certain time that I can pick it up tomorrow as well. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'm still going to try to get as far as I can into this today and maybe I'll surprise myself. You never know. Okay, so actually I did finish. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I finished chapter 38 and then I went on to chapter 39 to start kind of like working things through and very quickly I realized that I don't think that these actually are two separate chapters. So I did a little flip-flopping stuff around and combined it into one. So now there's 38 chapters in Project Shadows. I cannot believe it's done. 
I mean, it's not done. It's not done done, but it's done. I don't know what I feel right now. Excited, obviously. A little bittersweet, weirdly enough. I feel proud of myself and I'm definitely gonna be celebrating this moment. Part of me also feels not satisfied because I do know there's stuff that needs to be fixed still. I know it's not perfect. And as I was kind of trying to write that last little bit, my brain was getting hung up on the last sentence because it definitely doesn't work. I mean, it might, but it doesn't pack the punch that I want it to. I feel like I'm so picky and find it very difficult to write first and last sentences for the whole book especially, but even to like the chapter or the scene level. That's definitely something that can be evaluated later on. This draft, the goal of this draft was to clarify the story, get all those major beats down and solid and have it be readable. Not perfect, but readable. And that's exactly what I accomplished here. That being the goal, I'm so proud of this draft. Like if I'm, I keep looking over here, but it's because my computer is there. I'm done. I'm done with my revision of Project Shadows. Holy cow. This time last year, I was outlining this book, which is weird to think about. I outlined it and I don't, I literally don't think I had started writing it yet because I didn't start writing it until like mid or the end of October, I'm pretty sure. And then this was my nano project last year. My zero draft of this was my nano project. And then I finished that zero draft in early December or mid December. And then like at the end of January or February was when I started this draft or outlining for it at least. And here we are. Wow. I think this is the draft that I've stuck the closest to um, my outline. Normally whenever I fast draft, I outline and things get shifted around all the time and I re-outline and I go back to the beginning and start over. That's kind of what's happening with Project Fire right now. And I feel like I do that a couple times, like my brain has to reset a few times before I finally get to the core of what I want to say with the story. But with this zero draft, I stuck pretty closely to the outline. And then with this revision, I also like scene by scene pretty much did exactly what the outline said, unless it was a moment where I got to that point, like just now with chapter 39, where I'm feeling the story as I'm writing it. And I'm like, okay, no, structurally what I have in my outline doesn't work, but I just fix it. And then the content is still there. I'm rambling. I just, I'm unsure what to feel right now, <laughs> but since it's done, I guess it's time to place an order at Staples. I'm so excited to hold this thing in my hand. I feel like once I can hold the physical copy, it will feel more real. Today is the day. So I ordered the printout yesterday morning because they had like same day delivery, not delivery, pickup. It was supposed to be done yesterday, but they did not email me until this morning. So we are here now. I'm gonna go get my book. That's a thick boy. We have a book. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is way thicker than I was expecting. It feels like the paper is like kind of thick actually. Like it's definitely just regular paper, but it's like high quality paper. I didn't pay for crazy quality paper. I just picked whatever the like standard was. So I don't know about that. I technically um, asked for this black vinyl cover to be on the front as well. I didn't want the clear cover on the front. Otherwise I would have changed the cover page so that it had some sort of like design on it or something just so it looked pretty. But it's just like the standard export thing that Scrivener gives you. <sighs> wow. I have a book in my hands. It's 347 pages. Um, I did print it front to back just to save on paper and by extension money, but this is like going to be perfect. Perfect to be able to like take notes on, put sticky notes on. This is gonna be so marked up in the coming weeks and months. It feels strange like having this in my hand and knowing that I'm not really planning on touching it for a while, I just really wanted to like see it physically in my hand, kind of in celebration, I guess, of finishing the second draft because like I haven't seen it yet. I've seen the words on the screen, but because I write on Scrivener, all the scenes are separated, all the chapters are separated. And so you really have to like, click around and it makes it super easy when you're drafting and revising because 
then you can just skip to whichever part you need to but it doesn't really give you a good idea of the scope and holy cow this gives me an idea of the scope because she's longer and thicker than I thought she would be. That's what she said. <laughs> I originally thought that this draft is going to come in around 80,000 words. This one is close to 90. It's technically 89,100 something. So I, I do know there's definitely some cutting that I can do because I don't think it needs to be 90,000 words. So I have it. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming in the parking lot like a crazy person and go home. And we are back. There's not much left for me to say. I think I said everything that I wanted to in the car or beforehand, but I did want to be able to wrap up really quickly. I already posted on Instagram that I was done with my draft and posted a picture today. And thank you everyone so much for like being so kind and supportive to me. Like these are the moments where it feels worth it, where I can see that like the work that I'm doing is like building towards something and I can get that like encouragement and support from my friends and family and stuff. Not that they're not supportive any other times, they obviously are, but there's just something about being able to like celebrate a big milestone of people that really I think just brings it into perspective of why I'm doing this. This past year has been very up and down for me with how I feel about my own writing and a lot of the times I get stuck in this cycle of just kind of wondering what's the point and not really feeling like I'm making progress, but being able to sit here and see my book printed out, it makes me realize how much work I have actually put into this. And so it's nice to be able to kind of take that step back and really just be proud of myself for what I've accomplished in the past year. And just in general, publishing is the slowest freaking career you could probably have, but it's just about having patience, putting the work in, and then seeing what comes of it. And you can't control everything, but I wrote a whole dang book and that's something I'm gonna be proud of no matter what. But that is all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me on this vlog as I kind of wrapped up the revision of Project Shadows. I'm so excited to continue working on this and also kind of be able to free up my mind to start thinking about some other projects as well. I will definitely continue to keep you updated on my progress with this book in the subsequent drafts and revisions that I'll be doing. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.